and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Aileen Senpai. I am a streamer on Twitch, an amateur singer, and a lover of all kinds of music. Now, recently we've been going down a deep dive of Slipknot, and this song specifically has been standing out in my comments because I've gotten this one the most recommended. I am so excited to dive into Disaster Piece today with y'all, and even more excited because this is a live performance. I am also aware that the drummer in this is going to be Joey Jordison, who is sadly no longer with us, and we will continue to honor his legacy by you know, appreciating the music that he, you know, did with Slipknot back in their early days and, you know, have his legacy continue to live on forever. Uh, but thank you again for all the love, Maggot Army. Y'all have been nothing but amazing. And I'm so excited. This is not the end of my journey. Trust me. I'm going to go deeper and deeper into Slipknot with you guys, and I'm so heckin' excited for it. But before I press play on this, if you do enjoy what you see here, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss another video ever again. So that being said, let's get started with Slipknot's Disaster Piece. This song is gonna kick your fucking ass, London. This song is called Disaster Piece. Here we go. I can't hear you, London. Make some noise! pause here just really quickly holy shit um yeah he wasn't lying uh cory says this is gonna kick my fucking ass and my ass feels fucking kicked holy shit that is so great um okay yeah this is great i, I would really appreciate as how serious to take percussion and also joey on the drums right now is just <laughs> just curing my depression with that double bass it's just so meaty and it just you know it's 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 very it's very chilling um but wow uh if i can describe this in the first you know the first thing that comes into my mind is just holy shit i i feel like my brain is just you know completely obliterated at this moment but i actually really enjoy that so uh let's continue to get my brain scrambled and yeah let, let's just let's just fucking go this is so great Feel the melodic sound of the dream If we're really gonna be a real life What the fuck are you looking at? I'll tell you what you're looking at Everyone you will fucking lie behind Oh, I look at my eye for the eyes of the demigod I can feel it underneath like a miracle Everybody in the world thinks more than the consequences of our death Once again, me and no one else Can't remember if the one is someone else Now I'm finding out there Out of my hands in a second You never take back
supposed to be here? You're not supposed to be Why do I get to know what? I'm the damn one I die I'm not supposed to be here You're not supposed to be This song is just absolutely disgusting. I think this is just so disgusting in the best way possible. I mean that with all the love in my heart, but holy. Uh, there's a lot going on, but this is uh, this is actually incredible. I can't even imagine, you know, the people that are in the audience right now listening to this because I feel like uh, this is really, really old. So I know a lot of you told me that they are a lot different now, that the older them is a lot more intense and i'm here for this so they got to see you know them in their prime which is so i, I i'm honestly a little bit envious of them uh because i know i'm late to the party and listening to them way way past my expiration date uh but uh, seeing them in this setting with with all of this going on even you can even tell like their outfits are different like the mask style is a lot different like they've definitely progressed a lot but this is a lot more angsty and i'm here for it it's just like I honestly they just like my brain is just a bag of mashed potatoes at this point like Corey just completely ran me over with a bus and I'm just gonna say thank you in the most sincere way possible because I, I <laughs> you can continue to run me over this is just so damn good I can't even words are really hard right now to be honest I can't even speak I can't even speak uh head empty just slipknot that's all I'm thinking right now but wow wow holy 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 shit um, I needed a second to just like piece all of that together because this was, uh, this was at a 10 since it started. Um, but I love it. I love it so damn much and I want it just, I just, I just want more of it. So I'm going to shut up right now because I, 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 I just want to watch the video. <laughs> Must be so hot. I've gone in vain. It's so depressing. With well, every go away, take a look inside. My soul is missing. All I have is that I want to take you with me. Feel like I'm erased. You kill me just in case. I feel like I'm erased. You kill me just in case. Don't kill me. Undergone. Everything around me is mine It's neither the dark of my heart I'm not supposed to be here I'm not supposed to be here I see you going all the way You won't let me fight and stay I'm not supposed to be here I'm not supposed to be here Is there another way to live? And this is the only way to die I'm not supposed to be here I'm not supposed to be <sighs> that oh that was an abrupt ending that was so fucking great I, I, I talk a lot to the point where i can't even shut up sometimes but i'm actually i'm actually at a loss for words at this moment I, I, I don't even know uh, how to function for the rest of my day or, or my life, to be honest. That was that was quite literally the most out of 10 song I've ever heard in my entire life. Like, if you can just put angst and rage, if that was a song, if you looked it up in the dictionary, it would just be Slipknot Disaster Piece Live Emission Video 2001. Like, this is exactly what would just pop up next to that, you know, definition of the word. Uh, holy shit, the range in, in Corey's voice. Like, I've seen him you know, sing Snuff, and he did it it's so incredibly beautifully well. I know he has a little bit of grit to his voice, but this was just like grit out of 10, and it was just, you know, it was giving me gritty grunginess. It, he was just like embodying that raw, powerful, you know, emotion in his vocal cords, and I felt all of the angst, all of the, you know, power in there, and I just, you know, I wanted to jump out of my chair. I, I felt so damn happy the entire song. It was just quite literally disgusting in the most beautiful way possible um but holy shit joey on those drums was just mind-blowing the double pace uh all of those fills it, it, uh, that drum kit was just you know nothing nothing short of perfection it was just so damn good and i 
also love how <laughs> the other uh, percussionist, uh, I don't know, it seems like they have different sets every time I've seen them perform. It's always something else, but uh, it seems like they just take percussion completely seriously. They just like to bang on things, uh, but that's that's their style. That's that I, I love that. That's honestly the most Slipknot thing about them is the percussion is always just like, I need to hear some banging. I need to hear some crashing. I need to hear all of the double bass. Like all of it is just like, it's just what makes them so damn good. And ah, I feel, I feel, I feel like a completely changed person after this. I am so mad that it's taken me this long. It's taken 28 years to discover Slipknot and, and I, I, it was like always there in my reach and I just never grabbed it. But honestly, I'm kind of glad I waited to listen to Slipknot and now I have this channel because we can go back and forth and, you know, bounce ideas off of each other and, you know, kind of like converse every time I talk to a song or whether it's, you know, after the premiere or whatever. You guys give me so much information and it makes me fall in love with them even more. Um, but this was so amazing. Uh, I'm also sorry for all the cursing. Um, I, I kind of curse like a sailor and I try to keep it at a, you know, at a moderate level for my, you know, YouTube videos. But I, I just had no filter here. Like I just, I said what I said and I have no regrets because that was just... <laughs> That was just mind blowing. Uh, just easily put, it was just so incredibly mind blowing. But thank you so much for this. I'm so glad I listened to this, and this version was incredible. Uh, I'm so glad I got to see, you know, how they originated and seeing them. I guess in their prime, as you guys have been telling me, uh, the more heavier side of them is something that is making my heart feel so uh, full at the moment. Uh, but thank you again for that. If you would like to, you know, recommend me some more Slipknot songs, please let me know in the comments below. Trust me, I am barely started on my Slipknot journey. We, I am not going anywhere. I'm going to continue to listen to them until I've gone through their whole discography. So please let me know which song you want priority and which one you want to be next. If you do want to talk Slipknot or metal music in general, I do live stream on Twitch every Monday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Other than that, if you enjoyed what you saw here, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss another Slipknot reaction ever again. I'll be back tomorrow. I do music reactions every single day on this channel, so you don't want to miss them. But other than that, in the meantime, take care of yourself. Remember, I love you, and I'll see you very soon. Bye!